Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit and today we'll talk about that JSON. So what is JSON? How can we access the JSON? All those stuff we'll discuss that. So let's see that uh, uh, documentation. What is the JSON? JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. JSON often used when data is sent from a server to a web page. Normally JSON is a complex object uh, like uh, you know that uh, JavaScript object which is used uh, to sending the data from uh, server to the web page or maybe server to the server okay the json will be looks like that so this is a sample json you can see the bottom the name uh, age gender so this is a sample json and if you see in the top how the json will be looks like that a json have a uh, one key and each key have a value so if you see this uh, json right uh, json data is written as a name slash value pair just like javascript object properties so each json i mean uh, json variable have a name and that have a value this is the i mean uh, name and value so either key value pair or name value pair json used now we have a options called json.parse or json.stringify basically json.parse and json.stringify used to convert json to uh, 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 string format or uh, the string to json format okay so let's see how we can declare the json and how we can work on that for declaring a json you can simply say the var and then uh, json or any keyword so uh, json or jn and curly braces so after that your json will be declared so let's say i will say the gs.info and then i will say the jn and i will just run that so my json is declared and uh, it is uh, showing as object form okay now uh, if we want to uh, put some value or we can declare uh, this is the one way we can declare the blank json otherwise we can declare in a different way let's say uh, name colon rohit so this is the another way we can declare that uh, json okay now if we run that that uh, it is showing as an object object it means that uh, these json have some i know uh, uh, value and uh, if we want to access that we just need to be called by the key name so our this is the key and this is the value so you can say the name and it will return me that actual value so this is Rohit now see uh, let's see this uh, this is that another example of JSON I'll copy simple copy that one and then paste here let's say this is the sample JSON now if we want to access this json uh, value let's say name and if we run that it will return me that john similarly if i want to access the age i have to go and type that age so whenever you are uh, trying to access the value uh, you have to be called by the uh, by key so i am calling by the key age and it will return me the uh, the value of this json now if you type that uh, let's say uh, if i want to type op and then i will uh, put the j in it will return me as a object because this is a json now what we can do now if we want to convert this json to string format we just have to type the json dot uh, stringify okay and in bracket we have to pass the json um, value and then if we run that now this will be converted to a string format you can see this is right now showing as a string okay so similarly we can convert the string to a json format i'll show you that uh, so let's say this is the json um, what I, i'll show you that so if i right now uh, run this uh, json jn and you can see it's a uh, object object but if we run that str it is a string so it will be print that string okay so this is a string so in case if you want to print the value or if you want to see some value you can just convert this json to a string format complete json okay similarly how uh, we can convert this string to a json i'll show you that but let's say in this jn uh, dot name 
we can access this uh, name right so john can we access through that str str dot name it will be work let's run that you can see it is giving me the undefined because this time json converted to a string and i can't dot walk to the string so basically whenever it was in an object format we can still dot walk okay so we can uh, uh, keep a dot walk so now let's say that i will print this complete str so which will print that current json so if i run this it will give me that current json name age gender now what we want i want to add some key key or maybe like the name age i want to add date of birth is it possible to add into the json yes it is possible for that you can add this to uh, uh, like uh, for that what you have to do you have to put the jn the variable name json variable then here you need to put the box um, bracket and here you need to put the k key, uh, key name so our case dob or maybe date of birth and then you need to be post the value so you need to give the value okay so previously it was not the dob now let's say that uh, 12 uh, 12 uh, 22 and if we run that it will give me that uh, date of birth right now so it, it's right now uh, the new key is added uh, dynamically okay similarly we can access that so for that jn.dob if we type that so jn is the json uh, this uh, and if we type that dob it give me that only date of birth so let's take an example that how uh, we already talked about that how we can convert json to a string for printing the value Similarly, uh, uh, let's take example that how we can, um, you know, convert a uh, string to JSON. First, we'll try to convert that string to JSON. Okay. So let's say our streaming uh, string is hello. And can we convert to uh, a uh, JSON? So first of all, converting that we need to type that parts keyword P A R A C parts. Now, if we parts that uh, this string or this string str let's do one more time so this is my string and i want to parse and uh, uh, str here so this string will be converted to a json okay so can we access that first of all let's try that it should not once i run that you can see that uh, initially it was uh, unexpected token something like that it is showing so if i try this one even it will give me that error because this is a sample single uh, this is a string line and which cannot be parsed as a json format so i need to give the proper json as a string format and then it will be converted so let's see the example so let's see that i have going to declare that where uh, this is my uh, text okay so this is my text and if you see this text it is actually that uh, the format of json uh, kind of json but um, it is actually a string so let's say gs dot info if i run that and t e x t and if we run that it's a string you can see so this is a string but in json format right now okay now if we try to access this is the key and this is the value right if we are trying to access this employee can we do that because it's a string but um, actually the J, uh, the data is in json format but it's a string so can we start uh, can we uh, expect that employee so if we do that this one can we uh, see it's giving me the undefined because i can't access this name right now what can we do that we can do one thing p uh, let's say i'll declare one variable called json uh, in this JSON, we'll parse this one JSON dot parse, and then we'll say that T E X T. What will be happen? This text file will be converted to a JSON because they have that JSON uh, convertible va value. Now, if we try to access the JSON dot um, JSON dot uh, employee, it should give me the value. So, if I run that, you can see. It is JSON, uh, uh, it is accessible and it is have some value. Okay, now if we, uh, why it is coming, uh, let's see that how, if it is a complex JSON, how can we retrieve the value? Okay, so let's say this is a complex JSON called js.info if I type that and txt. So this is the complex JSON. If I run that, 
So you can see this is a complex JSON and how can we retrieve this uh, data value from the complex JSON. So let's see, uh, we see is first of all, uh, let's say in the layman language, this is a key and if in this key have value, okay, so this is the value and this value is not a normal value, it's a array value, array have uh, multiple, uh, you know, um, index and each index have some value, okay. To better understand, we can go to this JSON viewer website, copy this uh, complete JSON uh, readable format and paste to that here in this the text format. Once you paste that, we have a viewer options. You can see this is the viewer option. Once you click the viewer option, you can see uh, it's coming as a uh, tree uh, structure. So this is your parent JSON. JSON have a one key called employees employees have a 0, 1, 2, these are the array and array have a uh, first name which is John, last name Don, uh, Doi. Similarly, if I go and open this one index, first name Anna and then uh, last name Smith. Now, if we want to access this first name and last name, how can we access that? So, let's first reach to this employee. So for that, what we have to do, I will just turn off this file. Uh, so this is my JSON, this is the employees. And once we run that, uh, so, uh, so if you see here, JSON have employees and employees have a 0, 1, 2. This is the index, three index and each index have a another, I mean, these index are basically the, uh, you know, um, array. So for that, what we'll do, employees, then let's say index is zero. And then if we, uh, after accessing the zero index, we have a first name and the last name, first name is a key that have a value called John, last name have a key and that have a value called Doi. So let's say I will put that first name. So let's see that first name. And if we run that, it will give me the John. Now, if we want to get the last name, we can do that Doi. Uh, so we can type that last name. Now, how can we retrieve programmatically all these names together, right? For that, what we have to do, we have to do a run a for loop. So let's uh, do that. So for instead of this hard coding, it uh, we have to run a for loop. So let's say uh, for where i equal to 0 and i less than this is the employees and json dot employees have a array so basically we already talked about that how can we access that array length so we'll say that array dot length and then i plus plus so what will be happened it will be uh, it will be four will be started with zero till the employees length. So employees is a array, which is nothing but an array and array have a length. Okay. Uh, length is what? 0, 1, 2. So length is a 3. And then each length have a key called first name, last name, first name, last name like that. So what do we have to do? GS.info here, we have to be, uh, you know, run this one. So instead of this hard coded, we can copy this one and paste and here we can say the first name plus and then again paste and then say the last name okay now instead of this hard coded value we have to replace with i because i will be started with zero and keep on increment okay so let's run that. It should give me that expected result. So you can see it is giving me the John Doe, Anna Smith, Peter uh, John. So this way we can retrieve any complex JSON. So again, to come retrieve the complex JSON, you just paste to this here and see how they have structure. So if you clearly see that this is a JSON and JSON have a first key is employee and this employee have a uh, array right so for the array we need to be do a for loop and then each for loop have a key called first name last name first name last name so each uh, array index have a one json so this is a 
big json this is a big json and these all are a small small json so small small json is pushing to a array and the array is pushed to a come big json so basically this is a small uh, uh, json this is another small json this is another small json this is another small json three small json push to a array and that that array itself is pushed to a uh, big json so basically to uh, retrieve that you just paste any of this uh, here and then uh, accessing the viewer and then you can access that so that's it for today if you have any question let me know in my comment section and um, I, I, if you like my video like share and subscribe thank you very much have a great day